Now I hit record button. It's on here, and we're going to be making this canvas today. And uh, I am going to show you the product that I use first before I start um, doing the live stream. So thank you so much, guys. This is the paper I used. This is um, Seven Dot Studio paper. It's the illumination, dry illumination. I love, love this paper. The reason that I use this paper is because it has so many colors. So whatever color you have in your stash is going to match one of this color. That's why I love this paper. And I used um and I used this beautiful Prima Delight flower petals and this beautiful Prima flower roses. And this um, creative embellishments chipboard lettuce background panel. Hi everyone! Thank you so much for tuning in. And I use this um, rub on. It's from Tim Holtz. And this two crafty arrow ch chipboard thingy. And this beautiful huge manor house creation flowers. And this Prima stone wool stencils. I love the stencils. Probably one of my favorite new Prima stencils. I'm going to be using this a lot in the future. Okay. And alright, the chipper embellishments are really, really gorgeous. Just the gorgeous, most gorgeous thing ever. Okay, so now let me show you what you need to do first before you get started on this, on this canvas. You need to cut out either along the strip or against the strip. You're going to cut out a triangle. Alright, that's all we're going to do. Either against or along, it doesn't matter. Just cut out a triangle. And then what you want to do is, oops, is that you are going to cut the strips out of the triangle. You're going to cut some strips, color strips. Now you can just paste the entire triangle onto your canvas, it doesn't matter. But I want to cut it into strips because I want to I want to leave some gaps between everything. And I already cut out the strips and I already pasted some of them on this canvas and I'm going to paste this full little strips with you guys so it don't take so much time just to wash my um glue dry here. And I am using this Liquitex Matte Super Heavy Gel. The reason I'm using this is because this thingy dries really, really fast. It dries so fast when you apply it thinly that, of course, if you apply it really thickly, it's going to take a bit more time to dry. I'm just going to take my spatula thingy and just apply this Matte Super Heavy Gel Medium onto my canvas and just apply the paper strip right on there now I have to warn you guys that my glue gun is kind of loud so when I'm heat setting something I'm sorry if that um, makes you go deaf go deaf and <laughs> I am sorry about that Okay, and I am um, applying gel mediums on top of the paper too. Um, one reason is to set the paper is to make sure it really glued down. The other reason is that I don't want the paper to be the direct medium um, to absorb all this watercolor I'm going to be using. So, yeah, if I just let, if I just put watercolor on these paper strips right there with a little layer of gel medium, there the paper is gonna go wonky on me, you know. Okay, now we are going to um, use the stencil. Let me dry this real quick, uh, real, real quick first. Look at this beautiful stonewall stencil. Isn't this gorgeous? I love it. 
And I'm going to use Shimmer's Dazzlers in color Tutti Fruity to do the stenciling. Okay? When I do my stenciling, I don't like, uh, not like, I don't like that. I like to keep it messy. Just here and there, you don't have to really care about where you go and don't really have to pay attention about um, if you get messy, if the stencils thing seek underneath. It, I don't care, I just let it go. And let the nature do its job. And I'm going to fill this into a tub of water that's next to me so you don't get all, so it doesn't get gunked up. And I'm going to dry this really quick. Sorry for the noise! And now, I am going to use this beautiful, beautiful rub-on from Tim Holtz. I love this rub-on. They're so gorgeous. The, um, the patterns of the flowers. I love flowers, leaves, and flourishes. So this is really my thing. And to make life easier, I just cut them apart instead of applying them all at once. And I'm just going to um, put on them like really randomly. So this canvas obviously is not going to turn out the exact same. But yeah, <laughs> I am just going to apply randomly and see how it's going to turn out. I'm going to take my bone footer. Raw bones take time. To rub it on. It helps if you put your fingers underneath the canvas to support it. Just like when you're stamping on canvas, canvas surface is pretty soft. You need some, some sort of support to make sure um, things go on there perfectly. I'm not going to go for the grungy walk on this um, rub on part. I'm just going to go for the perfect look because I will be adding like gessels and pans and everything. So they're going to be get covered up pretty soon. The modeling paste is not really dried yet, but it's okay. Ain't nobody got time for that to wait for everything to dry, right? And more. More is good. We need more beautiful rub-ons. I don't even care which one I'm using. I'm just clipping out the ones I like. And then put it on there. And we're going to spend quite a um, like good old five minutes here just to watch me putting on all those rub-ons. Because there are quite a bit to put on there. And probably one here. I don't know. Let's just see how it turns out. I want to catch up with the chat, but you guys are so petty. <laughs> I cannot catch up on it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it does stick on there. Stick on there pretty well, which is good. Okay, the last fireflies we're gonna do. Okay, no, oh, we're gonna do more. No, nope. I think I'm gonna do one strip of star, and that's the last wall bone I'm going to do. This is the last one. I want to put it like right here. Underneath my butterfly. Okay, now I have OCDs. I have to put it back. <clears throat> if I don't put it back, I will lose it. Because my cat is the king of destroy of destroy stuff. Right, now next we are going to put on this big old flower on there. Now the reason, the reason I'm putting on this first is because this is the, actually the main centerpiece. And I want to make sure that um, everything goes around with this flower. And this is the Manor Creations flower. Manor House Creations flower if you guys don't know what it is. It's a little bit of a unicorn. I love, love their huge, huge flowers. I love it. So, hope my hot glue is hot enough. For the time's sake, hot glue is the fastest. Although I hate hot glues, but don't have a choice right now. Okay. We're going to put on colors on this flower later, but we're just going to uh, arrange our embellishments right now. And I'm going to take this two crafty arrow chipboard and this um, creative embellishment panel. It was six by six, but I already got something out, as you can see. And I'm just gonna cut some random strips. It doesn't have to be perfect at all, or it doesn't need to be perfect, I should say, because sometimes you make mistakes when you cut. <laughs> it's not gonna be perfect. Just some strips randomly. I'm like looking at my um, canvas I already made and see what I need to do. <laughs> Look at my own canvas for instruction. Okay. There. Something just dropped. I'm gonna poke out a little thingy here. I should have done it before the class. I didn't realize there's a little thingy in there. Okay. Movie disappeared. Oh, did I disappear on you? No, that's not good. Okay, well I'm just going to keep on moving. Okay, I'm just going to keep on moving. So now I have this um, in creative embellishment panels cut out two pieces. And I am going to use some of the little chipboard from Too Crafty. And I'm going to um, paste it along the um, big flower. I'm going to use one of this. One of this. Need some cutting. This is a really thin arrow. If you don't cut it carefully, like I did, like I am not careful enough, <laughs> we're going to warp the paper, but it's okay. We're going to use hot glue, anyways. One here, and one right here. That's what we're going to be using. Okay? Now. Let's just paste everything on, and then we're going to decorate them later. That's the best and fastest way to do projects. 
because you need a overall look first. Well, I need, not you need. <laughs> to me, I personally need a overall look first. And then I will know what I want to do with um, each little embellishment. So I always arrange them first or just paste them all right there. Okay. <laughs> Dinner time show. Where do you live? Um, it's 9 o'clock here. Okay, um, let's see what I'm going to do with this. Uh, let me cut this into two pieces. And I don't think hot glue is going to cut it, so I'm going to use this. It's going to be a little bit slower drying, but with it. It's too intricate to use hot glue. The glue string will just drive me nuts. And I don't want to go nuts, right? It's a life class. I need a, I better be going nuts on privately by myself. Okay. Put it right there. Just arrange your embellishment randomly around your flowers and that will do it because you know your flowers is the focal point and you do kind of want everything to um, go around your flowers. I'm going to use one more chipboard actually. Kind of change my mind here. I'm going to chipboard on arrows. I want one to go like right here because I think it looks good there. Okay, go right there, and I have one last little thing here. I'm gonna use them because I don't, I don't want to waste it, right? Just find places to place them. I always find myself to just because I don't want to uh, not use the things I already cut out I thought myself always put too much stuff on the project I'm making okay like this it looks good the colors look really off on camera that's weird okay never mind let's just keep going um, now we're going to use gesso And we are going to color those chipboard pieces because we want to put colors on them and making them look white first will help you, will help the color to show up more. Like I always said in my videos, I always put um, thin, thin layers of gesso on my chipboard embellishment. You don't have to cover them like perfectly, you know. Just give them a light layer of um, gesso that will help more. Although if you are using a uh, opaque paint, then you don't have to um, do this step. But because I'm going to use watercolors and they are not as opaque, so I need to do this step. But I had to. <laughs> Um, yeah, not really, actually. It's pretty dirty as now. Okay, um, now I'm going to, let's see, because I want to, um, see the time of drying, so I'm just going to take all the flowers I'm going to be using. I'm going to use one of the big coral color, one this little purplish color, and 
Let's see what color did I put on there. Okay, in one little yellow color. In one turquoise color. And one blue color. Looks good to me. Okay. See, I put back everything. So OCD. Okay. And roses. I'm going to use everything out first. I'm going to cut one of these. And one of this turquoise, beautiful turquoise color flower. I love this turquoise color. And this coral color. This bigger one. And this one. And this yellow one. That's what I'm going to be using. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put my flower back real quick. Okay, now it should be pretty much dried. Go on my flowers. Okay, <laughs> now let's paint the um, surface. I'm going to be using some um, ink wings. I love ink wings. I'm going to apply them really, really thickly onto my surface instead of lightly because I kind of want to um, really, really color every single little surfaces. And, um, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yep, I do. <laughs> I do put everything back in the package really quick. Okay, so these are the Inklings colors I'm going to be using. I kind of forget the name, so I have to, like, you know, look at... Nope, the name's not on the cap, of course. I'm so silly. I use them every day. Okay, the name is Neon Blue in Pearl Collection. This beautiful blue color. Oh, you can't really see it. Okay, this blue color is Neon Blue. And this turquoise color is Giddy About Green. And this really cute mint green. It's not a star color though. It has water in it. It's this cute green color. It's um, I Am Not Lemon. And this coral color is Sun Kissed. Okay, now I'm going to put them back. And I'm going to color my canvas with this color. Again, apply them really, really thickly. Water bottle with my paint. Okay, this is going to be fun. I love um, putting on paint on random surfaces. It's like a kid finger painting, I feel like. Yes, they're really, really creamy and shimmery. It's the best thing I love about them. I think the major... Um, I think I'm going to do something different on this canvas. A little different than this one. I'm not going to be applying the color as opaque. Like, I'm going to try to go a bit lighter on the color. Because I still kind of want this um, background paper to show a little bit. The original one, the background paper just slaughtered by all those colors on top. So yeah, I'm going to try to be gentle with colors. Woohoo! Ink cleans 10% off! Okay, now yep, they're um, kind of like Twinkle H Tales, but they're kind of different because Twinkle H Tales actually still like watercolor, while um, this ink cleans, they are um, more creamy, like, hmm, like, like, heavy cream consistency and if you apply them all really thickly like you see on this one can you see like how opaque they become they just cover everything they can they can be really opaque and they can be like a 
sort of modeling paste of some sort, like paint it off. So yeah, they can be really, really thick and really, really thin. It depending on how you want to apply them on there. I'm applying them quite thickly, but not as thick as the original one. Because, <laughs> like I said, I want the background paper to show a little bit more. I love applying colors to my canvas. This is the um, part I enjoy the most when I do all my projects. Is like splattering, especially splattering, splattering color everywhere. It's my favorite part. No rhyme or reason, I just apply my color. <laughs> Your card was overflowing. That's understandable, I do that often. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sorry for my language. <laughs> I just did something really stupid to my computer, but it's okay. What flower is it? That's a Manor House Creation flower. Okay, more, um, a bit more colors here and there, just to make it fun. <clears throat> All right, um, I'm gonna dry it off quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here is my chai tea. Chai tea with milk. <laughs> Actually, chai tea beer sounds really delicious. If there are one, I'm gonna go buy it. Okay. Gonna put some uh, little flowers on there. Oh no, I forgot to do stamping. Whoops, <laughs> let's do stamping. Okay, this is the uh, really cute little um, bubble wish circle stamps, bubble wish circle stamp um, from, from um, Prima. I love my chai tea girls. And I'm going to use this um, archival ink in this kind of mint green color. <laughs> Irish coffee. Yeah. If I am drinking Irish coffee, I wouldn't be sober right now talking to you guys. Okay. I'm just going to stamp this on really randomly around the edges and in there as well. You could um, go ahead and use your hand to support to support your canvas a little bit so it stems perfectly or more perfectly but I don't really care so I'm just gonna let it let it go randomly. If it's not perfectly then it don't have to. Okay right now it seems really excessive I know. It's gonna get better though don't worry. And, like always, back in the package. I don't clean my stamp. As you can see, I'm not uh, OCD about stamps, but I'm really OCD about my um, stencils. They gotta be clean, like, right away. Got my stamps, me. I don't really care. <laughs> okay, this is the um, Kaiser Crafts stamps. I love Kaiser Crafts stamps, though. They are so pretty. I didn't know their stamps were that pretty before until I um, saw them on Flying Unicorn site. They're so beautiful. Every, of, every one of their background stamps are so beautiful. I love all of them. I have like five of them in my stash and I use them constantly. This, oh gosh, what's this? <laughs> this is a graffiti one. Clear stamp. 
from Kaiser Craft, the graffiti stamp. Okay? Love, love, love it. This one gives wonderful texture. It does not overwhelm anything at all. It just gives off that wonderful texture. And I'm going to stamp like on top of the chipboard too because I want um, to give them the texture. Okay, now this stem's going to get clean. This has black ink on there. And it's going to, um, see it's already so dirty, the packaging. <laughs> I don't want to make it even dirtier. The light, light green one, I don't really care. But black inks, they don't really need to be cleaned. Okay, now... Do you like the texture? I love the texture already. I think the stamping of the Kaiser Craft really adds the um, texture to everything. I love it. I just love how it looks. Okay, now let's add more flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers for the win. We love flowers, don't we? We all love flowers. Just going to use um, hot glue for this. Just so it's faster. Put on the flowers. The flowers are hiding from me. I just took them out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. You guys are so nice. I was so nervous at the beginning, and then I don't feel that nervous anymore because you guys are so nice. Love you guys. Big kiss. Mwah. Just adding flowers to places. Where's the big flower? <laughs> oh. You should see my desk right now. It's so messy. I can't even find the flowers I want to use now. Thank you. Okay, um, <laughs> I really lost my colors. Okay, they appeared. Okay, they appeared. And one lost ball. Oh, right here. <laughs> it is really, really messy. Thank you. Like, what you see right now is just a really small area of my desk. And if you see the surrounding area, you're going to go crazy. You're going to be like, how do you craft, girl? You don't have any space anymore. Okay, I'm going to add um, some of this ink weed to the center of the flower. Just to color it a little bit. Because I think that um, color is too pale compa compared to the overall look. Nice. And then I'm going to be doing um, more, like, splattering and stuff. This canvas is so quick. You can see it's almost done. Can you see it? It's almost done. Almost. Not yet. Almost. I'm going to um, do some, like, spat splattering and stuff and more coloring. 
going to use the sp um, spray first. I did not do this spattering on the original one, but I feel like doing it right now. So, change your mind. This this is Vibes, Shimmer's Vibes in color Jenny B Blue. I love this blue color. It's really vibrant. And I'm going to use Treasure Ham. That's Shimmer's in color Split. And Shimmer's Splits in color Treasure Ham. They just match the whole theme, so that's why I am using them. This is a Spritz in color Olive Branch. Again, it matches the whole color. I picked them up from my stash and I think they match the whole color thing so perfectly. Okay, it's going, it's looking messy. I love it. I love a messy look. Oops, gorgeous. Time to drink my chai. Hang on. Getting thirsty. I'm going to dry it really quick and cover your ears because I'm going to turn on my heat tool. Thank you! <laughs> oh, my spiders are not neat! <laughs> shimmers things to um, do splatters. Thank you. And if you're like me, who thinks more splatters, more better, then you're going to do more splatters like I am doing right now. And there's this is going to be bigger splatters. Because, you know, it's just um, inklings with raw water and paint brush. <clears throat> oh, thank you. I want to hang this on my wall too. I only work fast when I know what to do. <laughs> So right now I'm basically like copying the original canvas, so it's really fast. But the work of me trying to figure out the new things is kind of slow. <laughs> and I do try to, and I do want to keep it as short as I can, you know, because I don't want everybody to spend a whole night here. Okay, that's a lot of better. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna dry it real quick. Thank you. I love this. I love this coral color. It's so beautiful. I know, right? <laughs> you like this one? <laughs> Okay, they don't have to be really all dry, but I'm just going to dry them a little bit. Do you know how I clean my hands since I have this, you know, huge bottles of water? I just do this. Clean it, wipe it. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, look at this so sweet. Okay, now I'm going to um, put some, um, say, highlights onto the flowers. And by highlights, I mean, like, um, gesso or texture paste. I'm going to use texture paste because they are thicker and they go on there. Um, I just touched my camera. Hang on. Because they're thicker. And when they go on there, they don't really spread out like gesso would do. Like you can't really spread them all that easily. So that gives a uh, really groundy looking thing. Thing. <laughs> groundy looking thing. Just 
just going to um, quickly go over every little petals with this modeling paste and then make my own modeling paste right away. I'm cheap. And I'm just going to um, put, put the modeling paste on the outer outer corner, like I'm doing makeup, <laughs> outer corner of the um, flower petals. Don't go in there, just um, put it on the edge. Okay, on the edge is enough. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it is really fast. It is really fast. If you um, already have an idea in your mind on what you want to do, it just really fast. It goes by like it's done like in a half an hour. Flower painting, so much fun. Blue string. Nope, I don't like blue string. Get out of there. Okay. <clears throat> and Andrew might think it's done, but it's not because I'm crazy enough. I like to add even more colors because the first layer is pretty much dry now, and I can add more to define some areas like around the flower. Thank you so much around the flowers and that's that's all I'm going to be darken, darkening just around the flowers okay not darkening but you know what I mean add more colors to make them more vibrant oh and um and I forgot to do something I'm gonna do that first I am going to put some uh, modeling paste onto the chipboard as well because I want to make them have more texture than they already have it's too wet for that Right. It's, it's good. Just randomly. And right now. Oh crap. <laughs> See? Dip my finger into the jar. That's okay. I'm gonna dry it real fast. <clears throat> Right. Now, get my colors. Dry my brush on the whole thing of your kitchen paper, so you care doing it? <laughs> I always do that. I'm too lazy to tear individual keys out of the whole roll. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Okay, just um, adding more colors around the flowers so they're more vibrant in these areas. We could also just add some sprays, whatever sprays you have. You don't have to just use watercolors, but. <clears throat> but I just love, love these watercolors. I cannot resist but to use them over and over again every day on every project. But these green colors. It's going to be done soon. Thank you so much, Ada. That means a lot, really. Okay. 
No. I'm gonna call it finished. You like it? <laughs> I like it. It looks kind of different, kind of the same. Two twin sisters. They're the twins. Yay! <laughs> It's really, really, really simple. It's just a ton of embellishments and flowers and colors. It's really, really easy. And I love, love doing canvas like this with a ton of embellishment because, you know, it's just easy. It's easy to put together. It's easy to decorate. It's just fun, right? Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. Yay. You guys are so nice. I could just like do this. <laughs> so there. <laughs> so they're like really twin sisters now. Yay. Thank you! Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so excited! I am so happy today to do this clock. <laughs> Put the one click here. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do look pretty cool in there, uh, like this. Really smart idea! Thank you so much! Thank you so much for tuning in. And, <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, I will um, stop recording now. So thank you so much, and I will stop recording, and I'll like do like chat in the chat with you guys. Okay, so bye. Well, we can look at it for longer. Yes. Okay, I'll stop it. <laughs>